The Center for War and Technology is an opportunity for us to bring together particular expertise uh, specifically on the martial arts strategic study side um, with the scientific technology uh, expertise that we have in the university. It's in particular this relationship between war and technology or war and science and technology which gives us the opportunity to really talk about how the battle space is emerging and how we imagine that wars are going to be fought in the future. Since the end of the Cold War, there has been a transformation from an industrial society to an informational society, and what some have called the rise of network societies, especially in the 21st century. This emergence of informational societies or network societies has put information at a premium, or has increased our focus of interest on information, and information has become the critical currency. I think probably one of the most fundamental problems is that people misattribute um, competence to technology that it doesn't necessarily have. And so uh, those outside technology think it can do wonderful things. Those insect, inside technology don't understand how people interact with it. And so having a, a really deep and meaningful conversation between uh, people with those alternative perspectives is really very important if we're going to build systems that can actually fulfill the functions for which they're intended. What's particularly interesting in the case of something like uh, the modern day, or, or, or even what we imagine as the emergent, uh, emergent case, is that we can see that the uh, warfare that we know and understand and maybe even experienced in the case of the 20th century and even the 21st century in Afghanistan and Iraq and, and other places um, w will continue to carry on. But, but as they carry on, they will have different dimensions, uh, different aspects to them that are particularly challenging to our own understanding about the way that society relates to warfare. In contrast to something like flying a drone, uh, which is now very uh, much a major topic in, in the news and uh, popular debate, where the problem is largely solved through the use of high-speed networks, we have on the other hand m uh, much more complex environments potentially emerging in urban settings uh, where we might have uh, com mixed teams of uh, robot devices and, and human soldiers and we, the environment that, in which we're sensing is much more complex to understand uh, with many more risks uh, to all of the components involved. Uh, whereas, the, whereas the drone has got an eagle's eye view of things and uh, is effectively uh, at a distance from anything that might cause damage uh, in the urban setting, uh, there is a risk around every corner and trying to understand and build appropriate models for such environments to operate effectively is a major challenge. There has been an effort to rethink or reconstitute the human in informational terms. And this is of critical interest to global militaries because it allows them to focus on the principal interest of any battle, which is the human. This gives a completely different character to how war has been conceptualized and thought of as compared to the past.